Hey guys, Spencer coming to you from the lab. Today we're taking a look at one of the coolest new products for the 23Z. You guessed it, it's heat exchangers. Some of my favorite features uh, are kind of all in on this from what our guys designed. Uh, they tested a number of different sizes. They had a handful of things that were in our scope. We wanted to make sure we kept uh, like easy for installers. Our heat exchanger is meant to be a bolt-on upgrade. Uh, easy to install and bleed, yield the performance gains you want, and uh, it does all those things, it does them very well. It's gotta work in the system of, like the front end of a Z that has a lot going on, so keep in mind, there's a radiator up there, <clears throat> power steering cooler, AC condenser, a heat exchanger, and in many of the instances, an automatic transmission cooler as well. So not only do we need to focus on performance benefit that's gonna help us on that charge air, we gotta make sure that we maintain good enough balance with the rest of the products uh, that are up front as well to control their systems. Uh, the ECU on the new Z is pretty advanced. Uh, it monitors uh, quite an array of temperatures and things that are happening in the car, right? We, we normally see that vehicles are getting tuned and they're watching temp or knock maps and they, they'll go into some fail safes to kind of prevent damage to an engine. Uh, the new Z is no different. In fact, I'd say much more advanced. Uh, aside from watching coolant engine temps, intake air temp, charge air temp, uh, knock, uh, it's, <coughs> it's, it's actually running through multiple maps. So if you think, oh, it detected this thing, it's gonna pull timing. Um, on the Z, what we see actually happening is it'll actually flag and pull boost back first. That's one of the first things it'll do, especially related to temperature. Um, we wanted to make this thing a real world performer and the plotted graph you see here is all about um, that. And this is from a 90 degree ambient day in our dyno bay, which gets pretty hot with uh, friction from the roller vehicle running, even with our giant fan, um, really hot in there. We ran, uh, I think it was a repeated nine pull test. Check that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the peaks you see. And we started those at full operating temp, uh, you know, for the engine and cruising in fifth gear, like ready to make the pull. The pull starts, you see the peak happen on the first step. Our guys slow the brake, still staying in fifth gear, um, back down to temperature, and at the 45 second mark, they make another pull. That's what you're seeing as each of those things happen, and we climb the ladder. So the factory core is 16.25 uh, millimeters thick. Uh, it's pretty small, very efficient, right? It's packaged up front. Um, it just tries to share that real estate with the other resources. We obviously know we're gonna turn power up, so we want to dedicate a little more cooling to this so we can improve that charge air temperature and resist the heat soak, resist uh, the reduction in power, and ultimately make more power at kind of the same level. Everybody knows a cooler air charge is a denser air charge, it's a safer air charge, and makes more power, you want that. Um, our core is 22 and a half mil thick, so you've got a 39% increase in the thickness of the core. Uh, that also is taller, it yields a 43% increase in surface area to help swap that hot air out for, for cooler, uh, cooler fluid to get back to the intercoolers. Overall, you've got 174% increase in uh, volume of fluid in there, so that kind of initial heat sink as we start to apply it really helps that, and as we're shedding heat with the more capacity, you've got more stability there. So pull after pull when you want to drive your Z maybe on track or that favorite back road that's got you know some length to it, you're gonna have more endurance at the higher performance level of boost. Uh, even at stock levels on a hot day, it, it's gonna yield more power, safer combustion, and uh, less likelihood of getting into those zones of the map where it's gonna start pulling boost away from you first. So, uh, great upgrade, very easy to install. These are a bolt-on upgrade, so you do not have to uh, cut or modify the core support or anything like that to, to install this. We wanted to make the bleed really easy, so we use our tried and true built bleeder. This is found in our uh, Heater pipes, many of our other products, very tough, easy to get to with an Allen head. It's got a slot in it, nice O-ring seal. Uh, follow the guide on the install and you'll have no problem with your bleed. A lot of people miss that when they are doing installs on heat exchangers. And it, it leads to logs coming to us where they're hitting like 80 degrees Celsius. It's like 170. Uh, when you get temp up there, half the boost is yanked away from you right away. So uh, if you think you're experiencing that after install, check your bleed and uh, check that install guide, make sure you've got it right. So these are now available on the site, so be sure to pick one up and enjoy that performance. If you have questions about what else goes great with this to make your Z the ultimate Z, just reach out to our team. And if you need anything else for your Z, performance, maintenance, OEM, accessories, Nismo products, you name it, be sure to check the site. We've got you covered all the way around. Uh -huh.